I have a message for Vibes Cartel. Don't make the mistake of calling up Alkaline name or dropping any shades on Alkaline. Because that is when your career is going to end. Adija Puma, what may I ask you? You don't check for stitchy. You just ask a question. Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Movado speaking on Vibes Cartel Freedom once again and says that Babylon can't hold on Vibes Cartel and thing, is it? I don't know this was during a recent performance over in a Guyana. So I play the video so you can hear what Movado have to say. Also, we're going to talk about Little Addy's Man of the Match music video, most Vibes Cartel the commit official video from the number one spot on YouTube. Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel being criticized after putting in locks extension. And also, we're going to talk about some more updates that we're getting as it relates to a lawsuit that was filed against VP by um, reggae singer Etana. Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel being urged to help Luton and Stitchy after the entertainer recently flossed millions of dollars on alcohol while he was partying in Mecca, among some other places. Also, we're going to talk about Bujabantan being rushed over his $8,400 ticket prices. And also, we're going to talk about Alkaline waiting to cancel Vibes Cartel according to a woman. And this woman feels like any of Vibes Cartel Tell ever make the mistake and call Alkaline name, I they saw him career go get cancelled. More than if you don't feel like Alkaline have them powers there. Anyway, I'm going to play the video so you can hear what the woman have to say. Also, I'm going to talk about Popcorn being defended after a video surfaced with the entertainer. The on stage with Puff Daddy or Diddy. And also we're going to talk about the mother of the eight-year-old girl named Daniel Rowe that was taken out some time ago. The mother of a fire now because the person who took out her daughter could potentially get a reduced sentence. But I may tell you. Anyway, my people, before we go no further into the topics, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And click the notification bell. Put it on all. That way you can get notified when I post a new video. All right, people. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel who is now being urged for actually help out Luton and Stitchy. You understand? You know, so Luton and Stitchy did suffer a brain hemorrhage that left him unresponsive. You see me? Luton and Stitchy is currently in the hospital. You know, the family are seeking some donations. The, um, the wife or somebody close to the wife, maybe like a family member, them build a GoFundMe page and them did a seek for, for raise like a hundred thousand dollars for help him out and thing. You understand? So so far, as it relates to the GoFundMe page, them raised like I think like maybe twenty thousand dollars or twenty thousand something. You see me? So basically like twenty percent of the money. Anyway, you know the bounty killer and Shaggy did also donated ten thousand US dollar to the family and stuff like that are the bounty foundation. So you don't know a man put out a video now basically ask vibes cartel for donate some money and for hold back on some of the millions them we may floss in at the club because obviously when you say when vibes cartel go make on other places he may always shell out the bar and you know the people in the, the club end up have a nice time and he may always throw money and them thing there down to the other day when him go make a him just a dash your beer money in the crowd anyway a man is now asking vibes cartel for hold back on the flossing and for go so boom and actually help out looting and stitch your seat so let me play this video and as you only can you tell me anything about this in the comment section. Is it my people? Adija Puma, what may I ask you? You don't check for stitchy. You just ask a question. What may I say, see? I'm not going to tell you how to live your lifestyle. I'm like how you live your lifestyle when you come out of jail. But I'm not going to tell you how to live your lifestyle. But you see all them $4 million where you see I can go party with. And them 30 buckle there. And them 10 buckle and more with. And it's 30 buckle and it's 20 buckle and more with. I ask you if you can, if you can cut it short the short at one of the party night. And send a donation to Stitchy. He's a foundation artist, you know. He set the place to you, you know. Because him, you're born to kill your father, come and say, Stitchy is a legend. And he set the place for him. And he set it for you. So, I'm going to survive, Scott. I'm not going to tell you if you live, or if you live your lifestyle. And if you spend your money. Because you work your money. Me, I give you a 50 US or a 100 dollars. But I don't know nothing about computer. Me not turn lie. So, I don't know office any. But I say, Adija Palmer. Reach out to Stitchy. He's a legend in the business. He set the foundation for Bunty and the Bunty set it for you. And I see a part, the money where you give the money, they have health and strength, can party and work. So when I say, you can cut them things short. I don't say if you buy them a drink or buy your friend a drink, you know. But cut it short and say if you can reach out to Luton and Stitchy. You come out of prison and my sister, you believe in a God. And you put it right up as so. Love God. 
And if you love God, you're going to love Stitchy, because Stitchy is a man of God, and he's a gospel writer, a gospel singer. He left out at the DJ world, and a gospel singer. He never used to make no money back in a few days. He make money, you know, but he now make no money like what them a generation and make money. What well, may I beg you? I don't want your friend them bash me, and I don't want the Gaza nation bash me, because I love Gaza nation. Yeah, man, I sleep and dream about Gaza nation. A Gaza election, a Gaza National People's Party election, as some call it. I mean, I'm a leader, chef. 181 percent. The general, reach out to Stitchy. Cut to my. Yeah, man. So after listening to that, more I want to tell more anything in the comment section. And obviously, no one can tell anyone what to do with their money because at the end of the day, a cartel money. And whatever I want to do with it, if him don't even want to help Stitchy, that's his choice. Obviously, it would be a good option for you have Stitchy in your thoughts and send a money because I want our veteran artists and them think about. If cartel no want to do it, then. That's on him, you understand? Me, and I like me, I go don't respect him because of that. I still like a great cartel no matter what is it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Alkaline and a woman who put out a video, basically a one vibes cartel, telling the world boss that any day actually make a mistake and call Alkaline name. That is the day when Alkaline will act, will actually cancel him. You understand? Now we know the Gaza fans, them, I go probably cuss out that woman, yeah, them probably a lot far 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 because you know probably i say oh alkaline i can cancel vibes cartel well that's her opinion and just like everybody else you know she entitled for have her opinion you understand alkaline a bad artist but for say him can cancel cartel career if cartel ever call him name I don't know the people that I feel about this. Anyway, my people, make could jump in at the clip here and as usual only can tell me when you think about this in the comment section. Mm -hmm. I have a message for vibes cartel don't make the mistake of calling up alkaline name or dropping any shades on alkaline because that is when your career is going to end because alkaline rudeness is on a whole other level and his smarts is on a whole dimension okay do not make that mistake as much as you're king of dancehall remember if you do that you're done i know you know better now, I'm also going to say that the only artists that found their footing in dancehall by using social media is Alkaline. But guess what? He's a genius. So he doesn't overexpose himself. You don't know if Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel, you don't know if Alkaline have a child. You don't know if he's broke. You only hear about it in his music, but you don't get to see it. That's what makes him a genius. That's what makes him different. Yes. So it's not about comparing you to the artist, but people want to undermine and discriminate against Alkaline to make it seem like he's a simpleton and he's not a simpleton. He is a genius. He is responsible for his own career. And that is why a lot of people in dancehall do not like him. He is single-handedly built himself and stood up in Babylon you know, dance all Babylon with all the hate and discrimination that he got and came out as a champion. So don't make the mistake because the ones who did in the past, they're canceled. And as big as you are, as much as you stand in dance all as the king, he is a prince at least. And if you're a prince, that means you're getting ready to rule the throne at some point. Okay. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't don't even make that mistake because Alkaline is waiting for you. Yeah, man. And of course, you're going to have people in the comment section that agree with everything that she's saying. The Vendetta fans, them, obviously, are going to agree. And then you have the Gaza fans, them, who are going to tell this woman that if you keep dreaming. You understand? So, which side they on? You are listening to this video right now. Do you think Alkaline have them powers there? Or do you think, as a matter of fact, you don't feel like any one of them can cancel any one of them careers? Because personally, Vibes Cartel not the business for how long. You don't know, say, you're the king of dancehall. Alkaline not the business for how long, too. Not 
as long as Cartel obviously, but him cement himself in the business where I do not think anybody can push him out, not even if them try, because if them did for do that, if them did for do that, it would have happened already. Cause no fight alkaline get. But anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Movado. Bigging up vibes, Cartel, you understand? And Movado did a perform at a show in Guyana. May they actually play a piece site what day, but not this part here. May they play a part when him did get emotional as it relates to him son being incarcerated and stuff, you see it? So this is the next part right now. And this part here is actually very short, you understand? Maybe about what? Yeah, less than 20 seconds, 19 seconds to be exact. But you don't know, my father does it like him thoughts as it relates to Vibes Cartel, freedom and stuff. And does I make Babylon know so them can't hold it down again? You understand, my people? So, I could jump in on that clip here. You can tell me anything about this in the comment section. Yeah, man, so that's what's going on. Big up Movado. And you can tell say, Movado genuinely glad to say, yo, cartel free. You understand? I'm not just saying it, you know, you can tell say, genuinely glad. And you know what is another good thing, even though I talk about it already, but maybe someone will never see the video. Um, Cartel and Movado, they might follow each other on Instagram. There's it. Now, some people might not look on that as a big deal, but may I tell you, you know, when two artists start follow them one another, you know, it, it, it kind of proves, you know, certain things dead and buried. Even though I would have still know say, certain things dead and buried, you know, but you can tell, say, they move past the past and you know, a lot of persons even uh, say, I wonder if this means, say, Movado got their freedom street. You understand? But I love for Vada their freedom street, you know. But like I said in a previous video, I don't feel like that's going to happen. You see it. I feel like Movado himself would have won their freedom street. I wouldn't mind we get some shaka. <laughs> you understand? And them say, yeah, man, Vada got up on it. That's how when the full lineup come out and thing. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Bojo Bantan being called out by some of the people um, as it relates to the ticket prices for the Overcomer Tour at the Barclays Center, right? And basically, like, the ticket prices, them is as high as 1.3 million Jamaican dollars, which is 8 or something US dollar. Some people, of course, are not even Beyonce charge so much. Some people, I wonder if Bujubantan I get mad. Let me get another article here, and then we're going to take a look at some of the comments. Them. Only can tell me when you think, is it? So it's a Bujubantan's The Overcomer Tour at Barclays Center ticket listed at 1.3 million. Bujubantan is set to make his second New York City appearance in five months, performing on November the 17th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn as part of his The Overcomer Tour. This mighty anticipated event at the home of Brooklyn Nets marked the seventh stop on his tour with tickets prices reaching as high as 8,400 US dollar which is 1.3 million Jamaican dollars plus taxes for luxury private suites. These premium suites located 25 rows from the stage comes with top tier amenities and can accommodate 10 to 70 guests typically used for basketball games. This price point sets a new record for the highest price reggae concert tickets in US history. However, fans can also purchase tickets for as low as $124, making the event accessible to a wider audience. Bojo Bantan, the Overcomer Tour, has been a massive success, featuring stops in major North American arenas. He is the first reggae artist to solo headline 19,000 capacity venues across the US and Canada, before arriving in Brooklyn in November, the Till Shiloh singer will perform at the Scotiabank Arena in Canada, where ticket prices are as high as $1,449 and starting at US $191, marking his first headlining appearance in the country in 15 years. So that's not the full article, my people. If you don't want to read the full thing, you can go on worldmusicviews.com. You see it. But as I say, a lot of persons are react to it. Where one person left a comment, this comment even even started an argument, man tell man about their mother, or woman um, tell man about their mother, some mother arguments, in so the person I say, Bojo, stop the madness, Rolling Stones and Usher tickets, not that expensive, so somebody respond and say, good morning and excuse me, stop completely and stay home, oh stop, I guess the person might want to say, stop complaining and stay home, if you cannot afford the ticket price, <laughs> 
The person responds and says, respectfully, business is about looking at your demographic. I can more than afford $500 Canadian for Budget Toronto show. I choose not to spend that. The world is in recession awaiting on the, on the result of the American election. So somebody say, S your mother, the truth, it always hurts. Yes, it. And the next person also say, that seems a little high, but if people actually spend the money and they sell out, who is the judge? Yes, it. Somebody say, kiss me teeth. Who really going to pay that to see this sellout dreadlocks? And you don't know somebody agree and say exactly him sell out years ago. So I don't know my people. When you think about ticket prices being as high as eight thousand something dollar, yes, see I me. Mean, the people must say, boy, not even Beyonce. If you want to see Beyonce, not even she had charged so much. You understand? Um, I don't know for saying no, you see it. If you want to go, you go. If you don't want to go, you just stay a yard. I just summer look on it, you see it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Little Addy's Man of the Match official music video. Moving vibes, Cartel, the comment from the number one spot. So this is obviously a good look, even though Cartel in a man of the match as well. <laughs> you understand, but um, we could get to that article here. We give a little bit more insight as to this. You see it. So it's a Little Addy's Man of the Match kicks the comet off number one spot. After three days of being released, Little Addy's Man of the Match music video is now the number one trending song on YouTube in Jamaica. The comet is now the number two spot, having held down the top spot since its release in the middle of September. The father and son collaborated has managed to rack up over 700,000 views on YouTube since being published on October the 5th. When it first reached the second spot on Tuesday, Little Addy took to Instagram to share the news. He also noted the father and son position on the chart father and son number one number two so we call dads hot vibes cartel he stated hours later man of the match took the top spot Addy returned to instagram shares a screenshot with the following caption told you along with laughing emojis he also tagged vibes cartel in the caption one fan reacted to the success of the video commenting vibes cartel i wish my father support me the way you do with your son and he didn't have to have money just want him to be around my feel away the support you show your kids vibes cartel also celebrated the accomplishment of his son stating the following on instagram my son removed me from the number one spot after 25 days on the top on top of the charts hashtag little addy big addy at little addy utg so this is definitely a good look you understand i like the song still you know i like the concept i like the video i like everything about it yes you know i say i like the collab yeah. and of course the gaza fans them i'm sure now look for more collaborations between little addy and cartel i have a little vibes little addy and cartel you understand what i say so it's a good look. Congratulations. And we know this is going to reach a million views maybe by tomorrow or by Friday. You understand? So that or that. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a video with Vibes Cartel where the entertainer could be seen putting in like lax extension and thing. Now, it seems like a the young Gaza people them shock because if he's a real Gaza fan from long time, you would have known say Vibes Cartel. I know the first time him a put in like extension and them thing there in him head. You understand? Long, long, long years before the entertainer got prison. And on top of that, him are not the only artist who do it. Elephant Man do it. Eva Alkaline do it, do it as well. You understand me and some people? A lot of entertainers do it. Locally, foreign artists, those people just do it. You understand me say? So as I say, a video go viral and you don't know cartel. I get some little chastise and thing. I got actually shown you the video. And then I'm going to like some of the comments them. You understand? Watch this, my people. Watch me do Debs Cardle's hair. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. So, that are the video. So, one person say, no, no artist this. If any other man do this, on a class them. Watch the man them with fox locks and braids next year, because them big bad artists are do it. So, somebody respond to that person and say, cartel been a do it, and I just now move up. You understand? Somebody say, cartel been a do this before him go in at the people them place. This ain't new to us. Somebody said, Cartel been having extension from 2011. Him even sing about it. Some of y'all just pretend like you forgot just so you can have something negative to say. Yes, it. Somebody said, Alkaline would never. <laughs> Hey, them people are easy, you know. So somebody respond to that comment and say, shows you you're not an Alkaline fan. And the next person said, but Alkaline did. There's it. Somebody said, lol, only show that some of them fans here brand new. Cartel been a do this from what? Like 2009, 2010. Somebody said, this is for all of the negative commenters. The man just buy a $30 million car like it's a normal three-piece of KFC. He could care less about your underprivileged, broke, underpaid, uneducated, smart-minded, simpletons. Hashtag Gaza Nations. Hashtag I'm out. Somebody say y'all are acting like the man added tracks or put on a lace wig. No, sir. So that's what's going on. Whole heap of artists do this. Whole heap. More than one know. You understand? Some might just not brave enough for a video it and put it out there. Maybe because they're afraid of backlash. But you have to remember, Sir Cartel, don't really care about what people want to say. And as I say, a long time you might do this. Everybody support. Well, I guess the new fans, them, when I really know Vibes Cartel from them time there, it might shock them. But the old fans them them don't know the thing go you understand my people but let me know anything about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is this lawsuit or this update that we're getting in relation to this lawsuit between etana and vp you understand so let me get to this article so i understand what's going on all right so the story is saying etana's lawsuit against vp records narrows further but some key claims persist a federal judge in new york city recently dismissed one more claims in reggae artist etana's lawsuit against vp records but has allowed others to proceed. The I Am Not Afraid singer, whose real name is Shana Mackenzie Morris, has characterized the recent ruling as a small victory. VP's lawyer are just seeking to narrow the scope of the case and get it thrown out, but that didn't work, she told Dan Salmag on Tuesday. Initially filed in 2022, the lawsuit revolves around three contracts the singer signed between 2007 and 2014, a recording agreement with VP, a songwriter agreement with VP affiliate it's Green Steve Publishing Limited and a co-publishing agreement with GPL. Etana claims that VP and GPL, among other things, breached these contracts by failing to pay royalties owed to her. In early 2023, Judge Gregory H. Woods dismissed nine of Etana's original 14 claims but allowed her to amend her complaint. She subsequently scaled down her claims to six, encompassing three breach of contract claims and individual claims for copyright infringement fraud and accounting however in august last year judge woods determined that three year and six year statute limitation restricted the copyright and fraud claims and that the copyright act overshadowed the accounting claim after the case was reassigned to judge jessica g l clark vp filed a motion for a summary judgment on the remaining contract claims in her ruling issued last month judge clark found that etana's claims related to the 2007 recording agreement with vp were barred mainly due to contractual time limitations. The court found that Etana failed to object to royalty statement within the required two-year period specified in the contract. Additionally, Judge Clark dismissed as time-barred Etana's allegations that VP improperly included recordings and albums released in 2008 and 2011. The judge ruled that these claims fell outside New York's six-year statute of limitations for a breach of contract actions. Similarly, the court dismissed Etana's claim that VP improperly registered musical compositions, finding this claim to be time-barred as well. However, the court allowed Etana's claim regarding the 2014 co-publishing agreement to continue, finding that there is a factual dispute over whether the singer made timely objections to the royalty statements as required by the contract. The court deferred ruling on claims tied to the 27 songwriter agreement with GPL as they may involve English law, and VP has yet to provide sufficient arguments on this front yes it's a people may not read no more but obviously 
you know, I don't even know if this is a, as Etana claim, a win for she or a win for VP. Because as far as me see it, a be dismissing a go on is like, them basically I say Etana take too long for take actions, that's it. That's what I basically I get from what I read. But obviously, you know, the, 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 um, the lawsuits that are still there that the court agreed to look on and them thing there, um, you know, I guess that's a good thing for her because obviously something is there for them to, you know, make it stay on one for look on it. From them to dismiss it then basically. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Popcorn, the unruly boss, being defended after a video went viral with him and Puff Daddy on stage. Now, of course, you know, say from what day, Puff here get a beating and Puff Daddy is currently behind bars. You understand what I mean? He has not been granted bail. Um, so, you know, a lot of persons, based on the things them we get charged with, nobody know want to associate themselves with him. Them say puffy a fish, them say my this, them say my that. So, we see a lot of videos are surfaced on the internet with Puff Daddy and some people, like, you know, rappers and them thing there, you see me? So, now we see a video with him and the unruly boss, Popcorn. I actually shown you the video. I don't even know which year this was shot or... I don't even know which part of them they I don't know anything more people, but I'm showing you the clip. Yeah, man. So that's what's going on. And you know, as I say, Popcorn, I get defended. One person say, Blessed love Popcorn and Diddy. Fire bond the bad minds trying to tune or trying to turn a good thing to a bad thing. Ah, oh boy. Somebody said, Diddy hesitate before, you know, hugging Popcorn. I watch it about 10 times. Somebody said, Unin have nothing for do. And the next person said, Unin have nothing for post and them thing. They it. So. As you can see, people are different popcorn based upon the post, is it? So, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Daniel Rowe's mother basically speaking out as it relates to the person who, you know, take out her daughter, getting a reduced sentence or potentially getting a reduced sentence. So, we could get to this story. So, it's a Daniel's Rowe mother bemoans potential reduced sentence for the child K I L L E R. I am not happy that my child's K I L L E R could get a reduced sentence. That's a cry of the mother of eight year old Daniel Rowe Sudin Mason. Daniel was found with her T H R O A T slash on Roosevelt Avenue in St. Andrew in June last year. She was taken from her school in Portmore, St. Catherine. Sudin Mason is not happy that her child's K I L L E R has pleaded guilty to the doings 30 year old dental assistant K.O. de Sachel made a plea when she appeared in court in September Daniel was taken from her school in June 2023 the, you know, the child was later found on Roosevelt Avenue in St. Andrew um, with her THRO80 slash the grade 2 student succumbed to her injuries in hospital two days later Daniel M-U-R-D-E-R sparked outrage across the country as the police intensified their search for the person who did the act. Coyote Satchel was soon identified as a suspect in the situation. She was arrested and charged in August 2023 for Daniel being taken out. A year later, Satchel pleaded guilty to the doings and, you know, her lawyers say they will attempt to make a plea in mitigation before her sentencing. But speaking on Nationwide at 5 on Tuesday, Daniel mom says she's not pleased with the result. So Dean Mason says she has been receiving support from her family since the situation happened. One of Miss Mason's aunt, Yvette Thomas, is worried about her niece following a spate of losses. Meanwhile, associate clinical psychologist Sonia Winter says the emotional trauma of a mother losing her youth, especially in a tragic circumstances, can lead to significant instability in the parent. Miss Winter says it's critical for mothers to receive professional help while grieving the loss of their youth. Yes, my people. So, one can obviously understand why the mother feel that way. You know, and a reduced sentence after she goes a woman, you know, take out your youth. No, sir. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.